The information from the former counselors points to an Argonian location. Some place called the Ojel Bok. Vandacia ran off with the documents before we could learn more. Now we need to figure out what it means before his cultists beat us to it. No, but Counselor Leviticus has heard the term. Says it's a landmark in the Solzan territory. The document suggested it's a site connected to the Four Ambitions. Maybe where the weapons are stored? We need to consult with an expert on that region. Governor Keshu of Gideon. Counselor Leviticus says she knows the swamps and bogs of Black Marsh like the back of her hand. So, can I count on you? Will you come with me to Gideon to talk to Keshu the Black Finn? We'll meet up in Gideon. We can talk to Governor Keshu there. She has to know about this Ojel Bok thing. She has to. Now that you mention it, very much so. He was a member of the Elder Council. His name was on the list of people that knew Leovic's secret. I thought I was supposed to protect him, keep him safe from the murderer. But he was the murderer. After he killed Falaria and grabbed the coded documents, he ran. He could be anywhere. He's had decades to establish the Waking Flame and set up hiding holes. But he's off to the ambition, same as us. We need to find the hidden vault before he does. Just what I've heard. She emerged from the Black Marsh Swamps and made a name for herself as a freedom fighter. Battled Dark Elf slavers along the Morrowin border. When the Okaviri invaders arrived, she took her soldiers and helped save Windhelm. About ten years ago now, defeated the invasion and helped form the Ebonheart Pact. Even commanded the Pact Army during the start of the Three Banners War. Then one day she turned in her commission, came back to serve as Governor of Gideon. Keshu's progressive, as far as Argonians go. I hear she has an interest in the history of the Argonians, but she genuinely seems committed to creating an open and enlightened community for all people in Gideon. Actually, I can't wait to talk to her. Hmm, what did the spinner say? Oh yes, it's one of the eight major cities of Black Marsh, but its proximity to Cyrodiil makes it more imperial than Argonian. In fact, Vandacia represented the Empire in Gideon for decades. Until, well, you know. No, more of an advisor of sorts. Like the counselors here in Leowin. Governor Keshu is the leader of the city. When Vandacia revealed himself to be the head of a Daedric cult, well, that pretty much put an end to his government service. Vondacia, a cultist. Gideon will help in any way we can. Thank you, Governor. Ah, oh, here's my partner now. Counselor Vondacia, a traitor and a Daedric cultist. I can't believe he had us all fooled for so many years. But that's a matter for another time. Evely tells me you have a lead for finding these so-called ambitions. Counselor Leviticus was right to send you to me. In Argonian, Ogel Bok roughly translates as Pit of the Outsider. There is a natural formation to the south that bears the name, 
Unfortunately, it lies in territory claimed by the Sulzan tribe. The Sulzan are a savage people, Nagas, who revere the forces of death and chaos. You must traverse their land to reach the pit of the outsider. The Nagas recognize no authority other than themselves and their leaders. They do not welcome visitors. South of Stone Wastes, in the heart of Sulzan territory. I suggest caution and stealth. Try to avoid starting a war with the tribe if you can at all help it. Bring whatever you find back here. Gideon will keep it safe, I assure you. Ojel Bak, the Pit of the Outsider. It's a natural formation located south of Stone Wastes. Just proceed carefully, as it lies in the heart of Sulzan territory. I suggest you meet Evely on the outskirts of their territory and go from there. After many years of fighting, including my time as the commander of the Pact Forces in the Three Banners War, I decided I had enough. Shortly after I arrived in Gideon, the governorship became available. It is my honor to serve this city. No, Blackwood and the Topol Bay region remain independent entities. We have a trade agreement with Leowin, but otherwise we're on our own. We hope the war stays to the north and west. Moreover, we hope it ends quickly. No. He served the Longhouse Emperors from the day they seized the Ruby Throne, eventually becoming a member of the Elder Council. Since the collapse of the Empire, he has been a trusted advisor, both here and in Leowin. This news is a shock. Only what young Evely was telling me before you arrived. I never heard of them before today. I will, however, get my best Blackfin Legionnaires to investigate them. Vondacia has lived in Gideon a long time. Someone here must know something. The Sulzan are brutal. They sacrifice their enemies to the dark forces they serve, and their thirst for blood knows no bounds. That is why I urge caution, as you make your way through their territory. They will show you neither kindness nor mercy. Forgive me if this sounds like bragging. I was raised in a tiny village far to the south, but I was never satisfied with provincial life. I long to learn about the ancient Argonians, to bring some of that civilization back to my people. You must have seen the stone structures in the swamp, the Zanmirs. In the ancient past, my people created great wonders, a great civilization. Then, for some reason, they abandoned it for a simpler, less complicated life. My explorations showed me the plight of my people. I fought dark elf slavers, raised the Blackfin Legion, battled Akaviri invaders. I helped form the Ebonheart Pact and fought in the Alliance War. Now I only seek to govern Gideon in peace.
Lord offered me something called Giant's Toe. Over here. Let's talk. Ready to make our way into hostile territory? We need to find this pit of the outsider, see if the vault is there, and reach the ambitions before the Order of the Waking Flame beats us to them. Hmm. Well, you heard Governor Keshu. This is Sulzon territory. We want to avoid contact with this hostile tribe of Argonians if at all possible, but we need to reach the pit of the outsider. Also, I had another one. Another waking vision. Happened when I got here. I think that strange book is trying to tell me something. I saw these weird cubes with symbols on them. Symbols like the ones in the book I'm carrying. I'm not sure what it all means. I want to find the vault. With any luck, we're way ahead of Van Dacy and his cultists. Maybe we can get in, grab the weapons, and get back to Gideon before anyone even notices that we're around. Are you ready? Remember to avoid the Sulzan, but keep an eye out for the Waking Flame cultists. I wouldn't be surprised if we run into them before too long. Now, let's go find the Pit of the Outsider. Just what you'd expect, I imagine. They are bloodthirsty savages who revere death and chaos, after all. Be ready to fight. That's all I'm saying. It's possible, I guess. But we haven't seen any evidence of that up to this point. Look, we won't find out any more if we just stand here and talk about it. Let's get going, all right? shouldn't be there. Ah, little mortals. Come speak to me. There you are, little mortal. It seems we once again find ourselves on the trail of the same mystery. I expect we can aid one another in the events that are about to unfold. Since we last met, I have been watching the activities of the Order of the Waking Flame. I followed a couple of their scouts to this location and discovered this charming Daedric vault. I believe the ambitions that you seek are locked inside. Unfortunately, the vault is warded like the Imperial Annexes. Wards designed to repel Daedra, including me. Remove the wards and open the way and we will both have our curiosity satisfied. Oh, and about that strange book that the Elf carries. When the Wood Elf and I crossed paths when she first learned of Leovic's secret, I sensed something unusual about her. It's the book she carries. It's an ancient and powerful tome of questionable origin. I believe the book to be the Mysterium Zarxis, a tome penned by Mehrunes Dagon himself. Or so they say. Whatever the truth of its origins, the tome is both powerful and dangerous. Evely must place it on the lectern to disable the wards. I dealt with one of the scouts. She will not bother anyone again. The other may have slipped away while I was studying the vault's exterior. So I suggest you pick up the pace. The cultists could return in force at any moment. Remember, while the wards are in place, none of us can enter the vault. 
Use the book the Wood Elf carries to disable them and open the way. Once the wards are down, I shall meet you inside. Now hurry! The Waking Flame could arrive at any moment. All right. I'm placing the book as Lyrinth suggested. You check out those cubes. Explore. We open the door and Lyrinth just rushes ahead without us? Figures. Well, I guess we should start looking around too. Everything we learned so far indicates that the Daedric weapon should be in here somewhere. It all comes back to Emperor Leovic's secret. How he hid the four ambitions before Varen reached Imperial City and killed him. We don't know exactly what these four ambitions are, but the documents indicated they're Daedric weapons of some sort. We open the door. It all comes back. Yup. And Lyran thinks they could arrive. The Mysterium. I want to find out what's so important. Blackwood to me. Uh-oh. Another warded door ahead of us. Another ward on the door ahead. Ready to see if we can open it? Only one way to find out. I'll place the book on the lectern. Then we'll see what happens. Then here we go. The book is really tingling. Get ready to turn the cubes after I place it on the lectern. The book. It's almost as though it wants to help us open the door.
Never mind. We need to lower that drawbridge. There must be a lever or a switch around here someplace. stuff is weird. That's sort of pretty. Disturbing and terrifying, but pretty. you had gotten to. I need you once again. Little mortal, I can proceed no farther. Another ward bars my way. Deal with it, will you? Yes, this interior is littered with the damn nuisances. Disrupt it so that we can continue our search. I do not believe we have much time before the Daganists arrive. Very perceptive. The construction is imbued with a magic that allows the vault to behave as if it were a small pocket of oblivion. In a way, I suppose it is. Those exterior portions you pass through, that's where the Deadlands and Nurn coexist. It's all part of Mehrunes Dagon's master plan. He believes Nurn belongs to him, and he has long sought a way to combine his oblivion realm with the mortal world. Hmm. Perhaps the ambitions are another step in that direction. Now, open the door. Another ward. Damn! I'll place the book. You turn the cubes. It needed all this protection. How's this, sister? More dramatic, Destron. More panache. Kalia, just make sure it actually looks like me this time. Oh, brother. I always capture the real you. People? Where are the Daedric weapons? Who are these intruders? I sense the cultists. They're close. Wood Elf. Check the other side of those doors. Careful, brother. They look dangerous. Dangerous? We're heroes! All right, Lyrinth. I'll scout ahead. You talk to them, partner. 
I knew I felt something strange, like glass shattering in the distance. Who are you, and why have you disrupted the wards? The Four Ambitions? A curious phrase. Pray tell, what are these four ambitions you seek? Weapons. We have no weapons here, at least none that I'm aware of. Feel free to look around if you like. Perhaps you'll find what you're looking for. Perhaps not. Explain yourself. Who are you, and why have you invaded our sanctum? Four ambitions? As in an earnest desire or something to aspire to? How can an idea such as that also be a thing? Weapons. There are no weapons here. Just my sister, Kalia, myself, and our caretakers. Teachers used to visit in the past, and the Emperor. But we haven't seen another living soul in many years. Look around if you must, but then leave us in peace. Destron says my talent has improved. Interesting. A totem revering Mayrun's Dagon, I believe. Those are my personal thoughts. Hey! We've got trouble! I need you! <laughs> Vandasius cultists have arrived. We need a plan. Portals opened all around me, and suddenly there were cultists everywhere. Well, we did take down all the wards that protected this place. I put arrows in as many of Vandasia's crazies as I could, but the rest of them scattered. Deeper into the vault. Damn, this place is enormous. I assume you didn't happen to find the Daedric weapons back in that other room? On. Where are we going? Whatever happens, stay close to me. Yeah. The waking flame oh, claims now. the ambitions for Mayroon's take on. Nonsense, child. You are an ambition. The High Priest has great plans for you. Destron, what should we do? Exactly what we were trained to do. Um, I think we may have found those weapons. They wanted to take us away. Me and my sister, I... I... I couldn't let them do that. You think so? When they charged in here and demanded we go with them, I just had a bad feeling. I... I really didn't mean to obliterate them like that. I'll have to take your word for it. With our sanctum breached and our caretakers dead, we can't stay here. 
We'll go with you, if that's all right. Those people, they wanted to take us away. Yes, but I never saw him unleash that much raw power in a single burst, or against living targets. Obviously, our training has served us well. Destron has always been more powerful, but if you're asking if I can defend myself, I won't let anyone take us from here without our permission. And so the secret finally becomes clear. The ambitions aren't just weapons. They are mortals of a sort. Obviously, these two have been imbued with immense power. Power that has a distinct Daedric tinge to it. I have learned enough. For now. The mystery intrigued me. I wanted to know what the ambitions were and why the Daenist wanted them. Now I know. Or at least, now I have some idea. Vandacia is a mortal problem, best dealt with by mortals. In the meantime, I wish to look into how these ambitions gained their power. I have my own avenues to explore. But do not fear. I am sure we shall meet again. In fact, I guarantee it. Destron and Kalia, the twins. They're the ambitions. Well, at least there are two of them. I have to say, I did not expect the weapons to be people. Whatever. Vandacia and his cult still want to get their hands on them. Obviously, we have to protect them. Get them somewhere safe. Especially since we're the ones who unlocked their vault and gave the cultists a way to get inside. Hmm. Good question. Leowen is still reeling from the cult's last assault, but Governor Keshu offered to help. I say we take the twins to Gideon. After that, we can figure out how to locate and secure the other two ambitions, whoever they are. Come with me, you two. It's not safe here anymore. You want us to go... outside? Time to say goodbye to this place, Kalia. It will be a new adventure. You have my word. Thank you, Governor. You did well to bring these twins to Gideon. I will make sure that they are well protected. Is it true, though, what Evely told me? These are the ambitions you sought? Yes, Evely was telling me about that. Daedric weapons in the guise of Imperial hatchlings. Interesting. Feed them. Provide them with a place to rest. We'll keep them safe. But what about you? Do you have any ideas on how to find the remaining ambitions? Or what to do about Vondacia and his cult? I suggest you discuss your options with Evely. For someone so recently out of her egg, she has remarkable instincts. And a good heart. Anything I can offer would be a guess. You and Evely are much more familiar with the situation than I am. 
For my part, I will gather the Blackfin Legion and make sure the twins are comfortable and safe. On that, you have my word. As I told Evely, a courier arrived shortly ahead of you. After you and your partner finalize your plans, make sure to talk to them. They were quite insistent that they be allowed to deliver their message directly to you. Well, we found two of the ambitions and kept them out of the cult's hands. Now we just have to find the other two and deal with Bandasia. Not yet, but I'm sure something will occur to us. It usually always does. In the meantime, take this. Your share of our compensation from Leowin. I couldn't have found the twins and saved them without your help. Thanks. Well, Governor Kesh... All right. We still have a lot of work to do. 